Okay. Good morning or afternoon, whatever it may be. Today is the day. Today the bees go in their new home. On the way through, I thought we would check out some pink roses. red ones which are getting really beautiful look at that it's a little windy today perfect day oh look at that it's climbing up into the tree I love it check it out look at that that is nifty okay oh and we got some onions some onions coming up here and going into flower so we are going to head down toward the bee set hi chickens hi Henry how are ya hi girls okay I hear El Jefe El Mito as we're now calling him yeah, his personality is not going to lend well to uh, breeding, so. I don't like being afraid of uh, my animals. And he's not, not a very happy camper all the time. He's just got a personality where he wants to play way too hard and possibly hurt people and can't have that. Look at that though. I just discovered a brand new patch of raspberries I can pick from this year. Look at that. I will decidedly need some heavy duty clothing to get in there, but it should be good. Okay. Hi, Peanut. There's my nutty. There's my panner. Panner's got ladies. He's all happy. There's Coco, and Kaylee, the Toggenbergs, the Smiley Twins, Coco, Nancy. They're wondering what the hell is going on. What are those humans doing? Hi, Cookie. Here comes Cookie. She's so cute. Hi, Cookie. Oh, there's Gizzy. Melinda. Where's my Polly? Where's po There she is. There's Polly Pooper. My beautiful girls. Oh yeah, Pinner's in love. Pinner's in love. With them all, I think. <laughs> Pinner loves them all. We've got some... I don't even, yep, there it is, right there. It's a buzzard. <coughs> okay, so we have cut a bunch of grass area here, a little part of the top hay field. And they're getting ready to, dude, should you be smoking cigarettes around all that shit? Yes, no? I don't think it matters. Okay. Just asking, because I know that they're kind of sensitive to certain shit. So, there are two bee experts right there. <laughs> yeah, we're really experts. Well, listen. We're expert friends. <laughs> That's true. Plus, we have some experts to pull advice from, so we're okay. What, the wood borers? Yeah. He's right on your head. I wouldn't use that tool to whack him. We need another tool. Yeah, what 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 will what will happen to the bees if a wood borer gets in there? Once 
once it's established, yeah. the colony will kill it. Okay. And Hi. Hello, ladies. There's Nancy hiding out behind the house. Hi, Malin. Impressive beard. We got goats climbing the tree. You can show them the bees in the back. That's true. Well, not really. They're kind of in a box. But, okay, there they are. We got one hanging on the outside there, and then we got one that died, it looks like. But you're bound to lose a few bees when you begin. And what will happen is, is once they... Once the queens are out, uh, they will push out their dead and do a little housekeeping. Bees are very clean in that respect. And there's Bob. Got to get a shot of Bob for Jenny. So there's Bob. Looks like the buzzards don't like Bob. Yeah, there's a few buzzards floating around here. Must be something dead somewhere. They're always flying overhead looking for chow. Oh, you chopped up a, looks like a grapevine over here. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, it's a grapevine because there's the rest of it over here. That's okay. Oh, and by the way, remind me later in the season, I got to check those, I got to check the grapevines over by the goat fence. They have the beginnings of teeny weeny little grapes on them. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. I put the extra frames in the car. It, that way if it comes up a rain, they're protected. I don't know what these guys are doing, so I'm kind of just hanging out. I'm going to come out a little bit later, and after I get done filming and scoop up some of this cut grass for the goats, they will enjoy that. Hi, huh, Peanut. There's my nutty. You're so pretty. <laughs> You're curious. The bees won't bother the goats, will they? Not unless the goats come over here and bother them. Well, hopefully they can't get out. I don't know. I don't trust those fence poles very much, though. It's another reason why I want to get that gate open and let them have more grass to eat. We're going to have to take that corn thing and get it the hell out of there. I'll have to do that, roll the hose up. And, uh... Just remove some of the crap from in there, and then those guys can have free reign of that whole ring area. Yeah, they seem to be kind of put together a little flimsily, it seems like. They just come out with little... Uh, yeah, jumps. I know, but still... So that's what the inside looks like. And I'm not quite sure what he's doing over here. What are you making? Bee ladders? No. Floats. Floats? Yeah. What? So they can like get in the sugar water but they can't they if have they, something to grab if they, onto? If they fall in deep, yeah. they won't drown. Got it. Yeah, you should probably, like, uh, put the water in first. Yeah. 
You, you, know. you know that, I know. If you've got scrap pieces, just hand them. Yeah, I don't know what, what you guys need, so. I'm just kind of. Coco! Coco and Cookie are having a tiff. It's a push. Look at Mr. Penner standing on the other side like whoever the winner is. I get winner! <laughs> no kidding. You'll be too tired to fight. He's coming over to look and see. Yeah, look at him. He's like right in there. He's like, what are they doing? Nothing. He's like, it's okay. I sniffed Cookie. She's fine. <laughs> Coco's making a dust patch next to the tree. So she, there she goes. She's going to lay down in it. Nice and cozy. Oh, there we go. I got so happy when I opened up that door. They were like, What, the bees? Yeah, because yeah. they were very quiet. Because there was no need to get lippy because it was warm in there. Do birds eat bees? Ooh, I don't know. Holy Christ. It's just a question. I don't think they do. You know, I like... I think they're more of the bugs that bu don't bite back. Okay. Well, I don't know these things, and it might I be a stupid no, question, but... I have no idea. Look it up on YouTube. YouTube is not the whole Internet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look it up Thank God. Thank God. Bee teaching. <laughs> There's Miss Polly Pooper. Mr. Pinnerman. He's a big boy. Slices. And I still hear El Jefe in there screaming his brains out. Oh, poor little guy. Peeking through over there. That's about it. Do you need me to go get something? I left the funnel in the garage. 
Yeah. <clears throat> what if you whacked out like an alternating corner on each one? You figure as much space is in between, they should be able to like crawl around in there freely. Mm hmm. I'm just worried about when I dump them in, you know. Well, you got those two pieces of cardboard you cut. That's what I thought you were going to do. That's what I was thinking. Yep. You know, put the bees in and then, like, just slip that cover right out. You know, guys, why don't you just put these in the back of the car until you fucking need them? Because <laughs> they're just going to keep blowing away. How full do you need it? It's getting wider. Okay. Um, a float? A float or a cover? Float. Is the ink going to do anything? No. No. The ink should be fine. Okay, beautiful. Now the actually cut those wider. Well, we didn't know it was going to spread out when we put the juice in. Yeah, I know. It'll be fine. They also need a, a little bit of space to get juice, so that right. should be good. We should be able to at least get up on it. Yeah. That's the whole idea. Just a little, little. Yeah. 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 They want out. Careful. Pretty good. All right. Yep, and then you're just going to have to reach in and, 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 as a matter of fact, you know, dude, I got a great idea. Um, put a little piece of electrical tape on this, sticking out over the edge, so that when you get the bees in there, you can just lift it up a little, grab the tape, and pull pull the cardboard out. That's my idea. Now that one's going to have some shit on the bottom of it because you spilled a little. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I 
I don't know. What do you think? Ooh, that is sticky stuff. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Syrup. It's like Cairo syrup, but damn near. I want to be a bee when I come back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a kept bee. Oh. Or a hummingbird. It don't matter, I don't suppose. No, as long as it floats. Or a hummingbird. How would that be? A bee or a hummingbird? Oh, yeah, right. They get the juice. Hell yeah. Plus, they get to fuck with tubular flowers. Yeah, see, that one fits a little looser. But even if they get in there, they can still get on the float. Right. Poolside. I want to swim in a bathtub of sugar water. I do not. I, I, I would... Oh, it's a dude, hour. it would soak into my skin, and I would just turn into 300-pound tassie, and that's not removal. my thing. <laughs> just let it dry. Rip it all off. <laughs> rip all the sugar shaped bodysuit. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Cotton Candy. <coughs> Hi, girls. You're fine. Hi, Donna. You guys are noisy. You talk a lot. You're sweet, but you talk a lot. Where's your sister? Oh, there she is. She's way over there. There's the peanut way over there. There's the Kaylee. Oh yeah, Pinner smells something he likes. Who's in heat? Somebody. Yeah, they're hungry today. I'm, yesterday I put in a ton of... Um, I put in a ton of um, freshly cut greens for them yesterday, and they were very happy. They got that after their corn. They have all dumped their winter fat. They look good, which I'm very happy with. Hi, Brownie. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, yeah, the sky got dark. We got to hurry. If we're going to do this, we're either going to have to cap and back off and wait a bit. Look at that sky, dude. It's coming right at us. Yeah, careful, honey. Yeah, the wind changed direction, and it just got real fucking windy. Are you supposed to do this in the wind? Are we going to lose our bees? No. Okay. Is there, yeah, there you go. Are you going to make it? You want a long sleeve? You want me to go get that long sleeved thing? What did you? What size did you get? I don't know. I didn't get that. Oh.
is going to super bit and you can get yourself adjusted. That's tight on you. you you're going to need a, we're going to need bigger ones, man. None of us are going to be able to fit in that, that shit. Get your, get his pen out of there. Give me his, give me your pen. Don't need to poke a hole in the damn thing. I just need to get my own. What? I'll just get a suit. I need to get one anyway. It's all good. Okay. All right, so you're going to be stuck with the head thing. Yep. That's all right. All right, I don't think I'm going to put the gloves on. There's no pants or anything to this, right? No. Okay. No, you got gloves and, uh... Okay. All right. Looks like it. Should I get the hell out of the way? No. I'm just going to break <laughs> Look at our little beekeepers over here. All right. You look like uh, something from Lost in Space. It does, it poops out more. You got a little, you got some yeah. poopy area here. If you need it. I'm going to keep that up around my neck so they can't swim in there. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't really think... And my arms, and then I'm good to go after that. Yeah, I honestly think that... Do you need some help? Oh, we need to get our smoker going, too. Do you want to... Yeah, what about the smoker? Don't you need that? No, not for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to... You want to hold on to this for a second? Yes. So I can get this other package out. That's the one with the one on the outside. Maybe they don't want to be filmed and they'll all come and eat me. <laughs> They're so warm. They're so warm. Well, they're probably going to feel a little bit better being out in the breeze here. Yeah. Well, you know, like they always say, if you're not afraid, they don't bother you. So, just don't be scared. Right. Treat it as it's any other animal. Okay, let me come speak with him. I know, that's what I was going to kind of do is back up a little bit and let you guys handle this because, just in case, I know, and I don't want to be bit, and I smell pretty, so we will just zoom in a little bit and watch you guys. Am I far enough away? Okay. Okay. Yeah, looks like we got some rain rolling in. We want to get this done before. Hee hee! <laughs> Dude, you got to do the thriller dance. And if you get stung, don't panic. I wish I had a better view, but I don't want to disturb anything. So this is about the best I can do for right now without getting too close. I'm wearing deodorant and um, some, you know, conditioner in my hair and stuff, and I don't, 
you, you can't really wear scent until they get used to you, used to you, I guess, or whatever. You're, well, they run on pheromones and scent and all that, so I really don't want to get too close right now. Okay, they they just dropped the loose bee in. We had one. We had one. We had a hanger on. He was riding on the outside. Hey, buddy, buddy, kitty, 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 come over here. Come here, kitty. Oh, here it comes, buddy. Yeah, come over here, buddy. You don't want to be over there, okay? You just don't want to be over there. No, you don't. Because if you go over there, you know what's going to happen? You're going to get stung. Yeah, we got a cat over here. I guess if he gets stung, it's his problem, huh? Yeah, but... I don't want him to get hurt. It's a little breezy today to do this, but it's our... We gotta get it done. There's a time limit on certain things. What's going on, guys? Okay. A couple of bees are already in the box waiting for them. Oh, beautiful. We got some flying around here. Yeah, I see that. They'll hang out by her, I would assume. Queenie. Oh, Queenie. Oh, Queenie. I'm just yakking. Because I have nothing to do but hold the camera here, so. Should be full on, ba on battery and the card's empty here, so however long it takes, it takes, I guess. So this really isn't a garden walk, this is more of a... a, a, a what do you call that? When somebody gets a new home, and, and not a homecoming, but a, what do you call that? Um, when you bring somebody present when you get like a new home these guys are moving in it's, it's move-in day there we go it's move-in day i'm gonna move the queen in first i guess and then when you put the bees in they will all start to care for her that will be their job to use the nectar that's in there and start building their little hive start honeycombing it up Hi, buddy. I know. I feel you down there. I do. I'm patting the cat with one hand and trying to film with the other. My back is killing me. Hi, Budrick. I know. I know. Poor kitty. Poor kitty. I can't reach you, bud. My, my arm just ain't that long. It, it just ain't. It just ain't. You're going to have to either... Yeah, there you go. Just rub up against my ankles. That's fine. Okay, there goes the queen, I guess. Do we name them? 
not all of them, of course, but the queen. I think we have a name for each hive. We have stickers with names for each hive. Yeah, you got a few of them out flying now. Oh, fuck. This is like fucking cunts, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't want to let go, but it is what it is. You got to dump them in there, you know. Once they drop in and they find their queen, they'll be fine. Just getting them in there. That'd be the hard part. In the front seat is a bee brush. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Ow. <laughs> I just nailed the back of my neck with a giant level. That didn't feel good. Yeah, apparently you don't want to use the smoker right off the bat, so. You just kind of gently brush them in as they come out. And how are we going to get all the ones that are flying around back in there? That's what we were hoping that the queen will draw them back in. Okay. You know, shouldn't there be like a hole to hole thing where they can all, like you put the box up, lift the door? Shouldn't it be easier than this? Because they're all running around like they don't know what the hell is going on now. They've been in this little box for a couple of I know. Well, they don't... Do bees fly in the wind? I don't know. What? Do bees fly in the wind? Motherfucker.
Yeah, yeah now the wind's gonna pick up. Yeah, and you were all worried that they were going to run out of chow. Don't they? They put plenty in there, don't they? Yeah. Fucking cat took a chunk out of my leg, man. I'm not happy right now. He's probably not either, though. I gave him a, I gave him a speaking to. Their queen is down in there, right? Okay, well, she should be putting off pheromones, right? Yeah, yeah but she might be putting off distress pheromones from being moved. They're a, little, they're a little aggressive right now. Yeah, I see that. There's got to be an easier way to do all that, really. You know, it just seems like there should be, like, here would be my ideal situation, okay? There should be, like, a cover. A matching cover and then like a little slide open door and you just like open the two doors and let them all go from the box into the hive you know that would be ideal but of course they're not built that way And let them all come out on their own. Yeah, because right now, I mean, it looks like they're all kind of settling. More of them are staying there. Yeah, there's quite a few of them on the frames. But they're all the way over here, man. They're running off looking for shit to eat already. And they should be staying right there. They got food. I mean, how the fuck are you going to get the cover on if they're all sitting on top? All right, I'm going to shut this off for a little bit here, yeah, good idea. and uh, we'll pick it up later on after we get a couple things figured. All righty then, later.